heartbeat. I am not you to ask you, oh baby. Let's Welcome to African Parents 101. As you know, African parents are very complicated beings. And in this series, we're going to be breaking that down. On today's episode, we're going to be talking about African parents and love. African parents are not very fond of using words like, I love you, but they have ways of showing it. Last time I told my father, I love you, he looked back at me and said, what's the matter? Are you dying? But African parents have different ways of showing love. For example, they pass down generational dresses and shoes, let you sleep over at your friend's house for more than one night, add extra meat inside your plate. Oh my God. Even pray and fast for you. What parents in other continents do you know defends their children against demons? Ladies and gentlemen, African parents are the top of the crop. African parents are your greatest hype man. They will hype you up to whoever it is, even God that created you. They will tell their friends things like, have you seen what my daughter has done? She graduated Oxford, Harvard and Columbia all at the same time. Graduated at Summa Cum Laude, Summa Cum Laude, Lili Cum Laude, all of the above. Just that one daughter. Wow, madam, well done. <laughs> Have you ever seen your parents show intimacy or kiss in front of you or even cuddle? If you have, you are nasty. African parents have a hard time showing intimacy in front of children especially. But it makes us wonder what activities led to them having things like eight children. You would think that, you know, maybe they were just doing all those kisses and pecks that they do when they are in front of us to give birth to those children. Every time you see them is and we are supposed to believe that. Even the blushing is conservative. It's <laughs> <laughs> Even the kids, I gotta, I gotta make a straight face. Uh, uh, uh. Don't think that they are not proud of you just because they say things like, I'm not proud of you. African parents have just a different way of doing it. They brag about you to their friends, which means the love is more of an external thing than internal. You will not really feel it, but it's happening. Trust and believe. They give half ass compliments. It's not that they can't bring you to give the whole compliment. It's just that they don't want to make your head swell. They want to make sure that you are level headed and you also need to work hard on yourself. So they say things like, ah, I'm glad you got an A. You tried, but you could get A+. a plus. They can look at you and say, nice outfit. It's not bad. They can also say, wow, pretty girl. When will you marry? These compliments are all underhanded compliments. But at the same time, they are also saying nice things about you. And this is their language. We have to just understand this. Every time African parents want to remind you that they were raised the same way that they are raising you, if not actually a lot harder, they always talk about how they were raised by their own parents. Every five minutes, African parents will treat you one kind of way and tell you, you know, when I was your age, I was climbing Kilimanjaro to fetch water for my father. And it makes us wonder, like, what does that have to do with me? But at the same time, I guess it's just them trying to let us know that they are even taking it easy you know, and this is their way of showing love. Ladies and gentlemen, that's African Parents 101 episode 1. Hope I've taught you something today. When you go home, just hug your mother and your father and hope for the best. <laughs>